Hey YouTube, this is Gary from Honeybees Unlimited. Just want to do a quick update on the abandoned hive we uh, were gifted about three weeks ago. So uh, we're going to go take a look inside this uh, abandoned hive that, that we um, inspected. It's been 19 days now since we last looked in it. And a lot of y'all out there didn't trust my observation and you trusted your knowledge instead and told me these were queenless bees because they were so irate. A lot of y'all said I killed the queen because of my rough handling so i just wanted to go in and see what's happening what i'm hoping to see is some brood in here and maybe some pollen stores now because they had honey they had a tiny like baseball size brood pattern but they had like zero pollen stores so my theory was they were starved of pollen starved of protein so, the queen was laying. so we're gonna look in here real quick and evaluate them and if they're good, if they're uh, five frames or better, we're going to go ahead and uh, give them just a tiny bit of help. And if y'all are right that it's been naysaying on here, um, we're going to pinch the queen and, and merge them with somebody else. So, um, so let's uh, open them up. No queen on the lid. Very important to check the lid. Then this is the entrance here. A lot of you in the last video said that there's no entrance, but it's a four-way pallet. Yes, they're a bit testy, spicy. They're they're not voluminous, but they're definitely um. Oh, some good. looks good but you know they're irritated but they don't sound queenless to me they don't have that that mm, the whole hive's not really humming so uh, I'm gonna get this second frame if there's a feeder I like to start with the feeder otherwise the second frame comes straight up with it so you don't roll definitely testy it smells fine nothing out of the order. they did they've been working on that pollen patty that's a good sign we also have dry pollen sub out here for them to eat little windy today we want to get in here today because we got some colder weather coming but it's in the 60s today so we feel comfortable getting in and out of these hives population strong look at that we have brood cat brood it's looking good there was no cat brood in here last time. Just a tiny bit of eggs. I mean, they're testy, but they're, they're not like thumping us. They're not trying, they're just agitated. I mean, I'm trying to look for the queen in here. But there's no doubt there's a queen in here because none of this brood was here. 19 days ago when we first looked in here. Pulling apart. There's some more brood. There's a lot of uncapped brood right in there. So they're not doing what they need to be doing. I mean, she's in there, she's laying. Tiny space for brood, but they still got some open. There's still a problem with the small hive beetles. I'm not too concerned about that yet. I mean, there's not any larva in there um, in this pollen patty. That's where they really like to get. I don't see any reason to go any further. 
feel like this this hive has, has turned it around. I think if we had left it, if it had been, you know, un, uninspected, and the, they would have been in decline, a serious decline right now because they wouldn't have any brood. So now that that brood we were looking at, it's going to start emerging any day now. And she's adding to it, you know, just because they're testy, it doesn't mean that, that, that they're queenless. It, you know, we're, we're, this is an abandoned hive. They could, you know, we get a little bit aggressive genes around here in our drones. I mean, but, you know, don't, don't make an assumption based on one characteristic of their behavior. You know, you want to look at the thing as a whole. And you know, the biggest thing I didn't really touch on last video was there was just an absence of stored pollen. They they need they need that pollen. You know, she can lay all she wants, but if they got no protein to feed, they're just not going to make it. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, checking out this update. Uh, um, the channel's got a lot of success, and I really want to thank all y'all for it. Please like and subscribe. And last thing. Beekeeping was easy, everybody be doing it.